what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be using oxalic acid to remove rust from a chromed object. Oxalic acid is a chemical available on the internet from Amazon or eBay. It costs around £4 or $3 depending on where in the world you live. You can also buy it from your local DIY store where it's marketed as wood bleach. You have to check the label to make sure oxalic acid is the active ingredient. But that way it tends to be more expensive. Here we have the undersprung seat assembly for my wife's vintage cruiser that we are restoring at the moment. As you can see it's pretty corroded. So we'll see how this goes. First there's a few items we need for the process. We'll start with a bucket to do the soak in. We need gloves and goggles obviously to protect ourselves from the acid. Brillo pads to clean off any excess afterwards and obviously the acid itself. Fill a bucket with hot water. Don't use boiling water as it's not really recommended for this type of acid. You need one litre of water per 500 grams of the acid powder. Here I'm using five litres to 500 grams, but obviously the amount you'll need will depend on the size of the container that you are trying to fill. Remember to always use your goggles and gloves when handling the acid or the powder. I don't know for certain how caustic the powder or the acid actually is, and I don't really want to take any chances when using it. So that's why I always make sure I wear my goggles and gloves. Open your bag of powder and pour it into the water. Next you want to take an old stick, uh, probably best to find one from the garden or if you have one just lying around in the garage. Don't use your wife's best wooden spoon or next time she comes to make a casserole we will probably be in for a bit of trouble. Once the powder is dissolved into the solution, you're ready to put the item that you're looking to de-rust in for the soak. There we go. You don't really want to go touching too much, like your cloves or anything lying around with the acid on your gloves. should be able to see some type of reaction pretty much as soon as you put the item into the solution in the most oxidized places as you can see here there's some fizzing and some bubbling going on that's literally been in there around five or ten seconds and here it is the next morning seems to be a lot of sediment settled to the bottom so we'll take it back inside and put it back in the sink there we go. As you can see, I, I haven't I haven't touched this since I put it in the bucket. Um, most of the the oxide appears to have come off. Uh, there's still a bit of speckling, still a bit mottled around where the um the chrome started to peel. So I put that to one side. Get the bucket out of there. Apparently. Pouring some bicarbonate of soda into the bucket will neutralise the acid and it can just be tipped straight away. I'm not sure how true that is. Then we'll just rinse any excess acid off of the part. Now we'll just give it a quick rub over with a Brillo pad or one of the white scotch light pads they recommend you use just to get any loose chrome off or to remove any of the sediment left over from the oxide. And there we have it. This is what the assembly looked like less than 24 hours ago before we started the process. And now, with very little scrubbing, just a quick rub over with the Brillo pad to remove any loose oxidisation that was on it and any peeling chrome. It's it's back up like new. Um, it is very pitted. It only takes off the oxidised rust. Obviously, it's not a full restore. But um, I should go over it later on with a wire brush and then polish it up and wax it because now there's 
flex of bare metal show and it will rust again very quickly. But that's how to remove rust from a chromed item using oxalic acid. I've got plenty of other bits to restore on the bike. I may make some more tutorials if this one gets enough attention. So please rate, comment and subscribe and hopefully we can do some more together. Thanks for watching.